Arsenal, a meeting that you usually can't take your eyes away from. Arsenal against Manchester City. Who's going to prevail this time round? Stay with us for every kick of the ball, live on EA TV. And a warm welcome on what is a very pleasant day for football here at the Emirates Stadium in North London. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson and looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Arsenal facing Manchester City. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Bukayo Saka plays with Leandro Trossard out wide. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Nathan Ake plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Phil Foden plays with Jack Grealish in the wide positions and lining up through the middle in attack today, Erling Haaland. Thanks to Emirates Stadium. Enjoy the game. And this confrontation is underway. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Cutting in, what can he do from this position? Arsenal doing well to regain possession. Well, not the greatest pass, easily intercepted. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Martinelli. Well, as you can see from our graphic, Manchester City have the best goal-scoring record of any side in the league. Impressive. Well, their attacking play on the road has been second to none. It's been... Will he finish? Well, it's ended up being, quite frankly, easy for the keeper. Well, he should be hitting the back of the net. That's a poor effort. And a short corner, let's see. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Grealish. Martin Odegaard. Ben White. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Under pressure. Arsenal have given it away. Well, that's a well-timed pass. And he could cash in. Well, that cross was more than acceptable, but they couldn't fire at home. Martin Odegaard. White. Martinelli. Timely intervention. Sustained pressure, and now they have the ball. Opportunity it is. 
Oh, right in the nick of time. Grealish must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, here it is again. And how many times have we seen this in recent games? Teams trying to play out from the back, not doing it particularly well, giving away sloppy possession and then getting punished. It's a really poor goal to concede. Goal. On they go again. And Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal. Martin Odegaard, perfect tackle. Out of play for a Manchester City throw in. Ake had a chance to whip it in here. Gundogan. Surely. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Keen to take it short here. Gundogan. And now Rodri. Well, closed down straight away. White, Martinelli, well the chance looked to be on but found himself offside, out of play and an Arsenal throw in forthcoming, Saka, Martinelli, and the quality of pass needs to be a bit better, now what can they do from here? Keeper getting in the way, superb save. <laughs> Who can he pick out? Well, it looks you can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Martin Odegaard. Very quick thinking there. Walker. Losing possession. Jorginho. Rodri. This might be ideal for the counter. Walker. Well, nothing for the players in the middle to work with. Well, it's been all City in the last 15 minutes or so and look like scoring every time they go forward. They do need to extend their lead, though, while they're playing so well. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Martin Odegaard. A City free kick forthcoming. Read it superbly to take back possession. And space to cross it. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Well, now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So underway again, following the goal that made things level.
De Bruyne. Phil Foden now. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. And showing fine vision. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Trossard. Chance to cross. Oh, surely! Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. So, half-time. That will close the book on the first half here at the Emirates. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And then Haaland finishes it with such quality. Just look how much power he hits this with. It's a top-class goal from a top-class player. And so the game back in business. City ahead here. Well, very effective play in possession. Delivered into the box. Well, no problems defensively. And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. It's still alive! Quite clearly offside. Well, the referee let it go initially, but now he goes back and cautions him, Stuart. Yeah, it's a good bit of refereeing. He tried to let the play continue, and then he came back for the booking. Rodri. Walker. Foden. On to De Bruyne. Oh, great defending. Corner to City as they look for more. Who can he pick out? Oh, great vision. Giving it a try. Watered by the post. And he didn't hesitate. Good thing too. Well, he's so quick off his line. That's great goalkeeping, you have to say. Textbook closing down. And now they're on the attack. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Well, just listen to the fans. They know this is a big chance here. Prompt defensive action called for. Sound piece of goalkeeping. And into the last 30 minutes now. Holland. Tremendous ball played through. Gundogan! Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Well, opting for the short corner. Not the pass he had in mind. Jesus. Promising looking ball. And with the goalkeeper. Walker. Holland. Jack Grealish. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. De Bruyne. And a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserved.
Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. Well, the action continues, and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. Zinchenko. Could reduce the deficit. And he does. There is hope for them, despite the adversity they suffered earlier. Well, here it is again. The pass behind the defence is absolutely perfect. And the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? On they go again, and that goal for Arsenal means they can now entertain thoughts of perhaps drawing level. Substitution for Arsenal. Coming off the pitch, number 19, De Bruyne. De Bruyne! Well, it's ended up being, quite frankly, easy for the keeper. Well, he should be hitting the back of the net. That's a poor effort. Gundogan. Oh, he's gone for goal! Well, it could have been a better effort, and I think we were all expecting it would be. Jorginho. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Gabriel Jesus prepared to fire. Well, pretty straightforward for the keeper, you've got to say. And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. Well, this game is ebbing away, and Arsenal have still got a lot on their plate. Yeah, it's been a performance of contrast, you have to say. Plenty to please going forward, but absolutely shambolic at the back at times. Still in it, though, and more than enough time for one last twist. This looks promising. On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. Could be a chance to break here. And he's in. is it for them no looking back now surely well just look at this again the speed of counter-attack is so impressive and then the strike from Grealish he never looked like missing did he brilliant finish Goal. so the current scoreline 4-2 Jack Grealish Gabriel Jesus. Nketia. The cross is on. Oh, fancy footwork. Can he get one back? He can! And who's to say there's not enough time for them to level matters? It would be quite the story. Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. Well, if you enjoy high-scoring contests, this has been the game for you. Significant acreage for City to run into. Gundogan. This could finish it! And in all likelihood, that is game over. So little time left for a response. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure.
against the scoreline we see all that often. 5-3. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Corner kick played in. And intercepted it. Walker. On the ball, Ruben Diaz. Holland. Given away by City. Grealish it's with Gundogan an alert intervention it needs an accurate cross not messing around with that clearance Nketia and so the referee blows the whistle it is the end of the contest and the three points go to Manchester City well, as I keep saying, if you make forward runs and you look to pass the ball forward and have players who can dribble past defenders, you're always going to carry a threat. And that's what they're doing at the moment. Their forward play was scintillating.